Hello everyone, I'm Mitch Smith. I'd like to welcome y'all with Mitch Smith Bible Studies. Uh, today I'd like to share something with y'all. A dream that I had, which I just, uh, yesterday I just got done writing about it in my journal. <clears throat> but uh, the dream I had and the, that the Lord showed and to me uh, when I fell asleep, it was I saw two faces of men appear. Uh, first, I saw one, and the way I can describe the way he looked is uh, he had he's like a real old old type person had long hair, had a full facial hair, like mustache, beard, and but you're gonna see him from his shoulders up. And then after he appeared, they appeared another face. It was a little bit far back, it was like like over his left shoulder, but a little bit back behind the uh, the first face. Then uh, it got to where there was like a flame that lit up behind them, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge flame, but you know, it was a a fiery flame that appeared in behind them and uh but the second face it was a little bit it was old but not near as old as what the first face was and uh it also had long hair uh not as gray not total gray as the first one and it didn't have like a full facial like, hair uh it's kind of like short a uh, real scrubby type mustache and uh, beard and uh, then I, I heard a loud noise and it was a noise like thunder and then I began to feel the earth and the ground shake and then after that I heard the word spoken to me it said chosen that's all it said it was chosen and then after that I heard another loud noise like thunder and again I felt the earth and shake and then I found myself like in a huge large field I mean you could see forever uh, no trees in sight no nothing it just was like you standing out in a, a hay field the thing about it is the place I was standing it was real short grass like freshly cut grass like if you was doing your lawn or something and I got to know some that it was like I was in the shape of like a circle and on the outer edges, it was real tall grass and uh, like a hay field, maybe waist to chest high, if that. And, uh, but the area I was standing in, it was like in the shape of a circle. And it was like short, fresh cut green grass. <clears throat> then I heard a loud noise again. And again, it was like thunder. And it was, uh, I felt the earth shake. And it just like every time there's a certain event, the, the I would hear, hear something like real loud noise, like thunder, and then I'd feel the earth shake. It would happen every time. And then it was like my wife had, or my spouse or my wife had appeared. And then off in the distance, there's like a small child. The thing about it is, we had we didn't we didn't know who this child belonged to is like an infant and it was lying on its back in this short green grass where we were but it was like a little bit out of a distance and it had like a blanket spread over it and uh but in the tall grass we both got the feeling there wasn't something quite right with that tall grass they, they just something wasn't right like they something bad in it but we couldn't see it it was for high so it was so high and uh then again i heard a loud noise like thunder about the earth shape and then after that that i could hear my wife start yelling and screaming saying it's coming it's coming and i didn't know what she was talking about but i looked in the direction she was looking and she was looking gazing way off out into the tall grass and I got the 
looking out there in the direction she was looking, and uh, you could see the grass moving, and then that you couldn't see what it was, but there was something coming, and because you could see the grass moving, it's coming pretty quick. I don't know. It's just I had a feeling to to run over at the edge of the grass because I I just had a feeling of something went good about it. And then as I got over there, it, as it, as soon as it came out of the tall grass into the short grass where we was, it was some type of reptilian reptile type creatures, uh, probably about the size of alligators or crocodiles. Or, or a little bit bigger. And uh, I'll tell you what it puts you in mind of. It puts you in mind something like what you hear. I don't know if you've ever heard them or ever seen But like these real large monitor type lizard type reptiles. But anyway, there's some type of rep reptilian like creature. They had real, it looked like they had real tough skin, scaly type. And they was trying to get to the child. And me and my wife, we had the feelings we had to protect that child, even though we didn't know where the child had come from. We didn't know who the child was. We just knew we had to protect it. So I went over there. I ran over to where that creature come out, and I found myself like I was stomping it and kicking it and everything. And finally it stopped, and I was able to uh, destroy it. And then... After I destroyed that, and I went over there and checked on a child, and then I heard my wife start screaming and yelling again. And she said, it's coming, it's coming, they're coming. And I looked, and I could see tall grass, and there's another one coming. At the time, I didn't know what it was. I just see tall grass. I ran over to the edge of the tall grass, and as soon as it came through the tall grass and the short grass where we was at, it was another one of them creatures. I did the same thing. I went to stomping it and kicking it until it was destroyed. This happened several times, probably about four or five times that them creatures was coming and I'd uh, go over and stomp and kick at them and everything until they was destroyed. But after they was destroyed and they stopped coming, I heard another loud noise and uh, it like thunder and I felt the earth shake. Then out of nowhere, these two individuals appeared. It wasn't uh, like the two faces I saw. These here and I really couldn't make out the faces, but they all had on something like dark clothing. Well, they was after the child. And uh, again, it felt like they was going to try to do it harm. So I ran over to stop the, stop the one man. I confronted him. and But the other man, he started running over the child to try to get it. And I don't know, it just came over me. I looked towards the blanket. I, I told I know it sounds wild and crazy, but I told the blanket to protect the child. And the blanket lifted up and it twisted into something like a long rope. And then I actually struck at the man like, like a whip. Then it came back down, laid flat, and then it took itself and wrapped all the way around this child protecting it. Well, after I had confronted the one man, after he was stopped, I ran over there to try to confront the other man. And then whenever I got over, I confronted him. The dream ended and I woke up. Uh, I don't know what all this means. I still try to figure out all the meaning of it. But I do feel like uh, it was like the uh, we was protected in the circle. The short grass and I, I feel like the tall grass it was something like chaos it was like like the world does you today it blinds you and you can't see the world for like what it really is you don't know what's lying out there and waiting and it's full of evil and everything and that's why I take the tall grass foot it was like the world but inside the circle we was protected and uh but I do know the two faces that I first saw in the dreams, they were not bad. I just had the warmness, peace feeling when I first seen them. I believe they, I believe in my heart they were like holy men. But the two, and I just seen them from shoulder up, and there's like a fire or a blaze in behind them. But at the end of the dream, 
there was two individuals uh, I knew they was after no good. They was like bad men. They was trying to do harm to the child when we had to protect them. But after confronting the second, the dream ended. But I just wanted to share this with y'all. I just got done writing about it in my journal. I had a dream a few days ago. And uh, it was time I wanted to do a video on it and share it with y'all. But uh, I just want I just want to tell you there's something coming in this world. Uh, this what's going on now is nothing. It's not nothing. It, it's not near as nothing what's coming. That's all I can say. And uh, I ask you to please start seeking Jesus Christ if you don't know Him. I ask you to please ask for uh, repentance and accept Him into your heart before it's too late. But I want to say I love you all and God bless you all. And thank you for uh, watching Mitch Smith's Bible Studies. Feel free to check us out on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We, I've not got too many videos up, but more is coming. And they're not all going to be about dreams. They're going to have messages in them. Uh, I ask you to uh, check us out on Facebook, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, again, I love y'all. God bless y'all.